What's the likelihood he went for a max knuckle? Pretty low. Let me get in my gigalith. <laughs> yes! What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new season of Boost to the Top VGC 2021. The ladder has reset. We are back in Great Ball tier. We were in Master Ball tier last season, of course. We never failed to get to that. Uh, however, we were reset to Great Ball tier 9 as all Master Ball players were. And something to note is I did already do two battles and they were all losses. So I, I had to stop playing. I was like, you know what? Today's not the day I'm going to record. I need to reset because man... I, I gotta tell you guys something you need to learn. It is much harder to climb out of lower tiers than it is to climb within higher tiers. At least, at least until you get to the top of higher tiers. Because, man, I there's a lot of cheese going on when it comes to best of one. And when you see ally switch everywhere, it's a little bit awkward. So yeah, hopefully we don't run into that today. Uh, we're going to be using a brand new team that I'll be releasing the info for at the end of the week once I'm done using it. The team is centered around Raikou. You already know what the spreads are and stuff, but some people might not have watched that video. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool team. We have Weakness Policy Gigalith. We have Assault Vest Kartana, Citrus Berry, Tapu Fini, Figgy Berry, Incineroar, Evil Light, Dusclops, of course, and Light Clay Raikou with Inner Focus. Now, what's really cool about this team is that Raikou is not able to be flinched, so it has more reliable screens than Tapu Koko or Regieleki, or even Raichu at that point. So yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and hit subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you guys daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And comment down below, comment question of the day, what is your favorite electric type? Since we're using Raikou, let me know in the comment section. And yeah. Okay, let's get into this. And let's shoot for 200 likes. And oh yay, we're facing Venusaur Torkoal, aka uh, the no skill copy pasta. If you're not familiar with the no skill copy cop eh, copy pasta, look it up. It's it's actually a really good time. But uh Venucole, Dusclops, standardish stuff, but we also have to worry about the possible Lapras plus Whimsicott. Hmm. Honestly, late game Gigalith doesn't seem bad. It doesn't really seem bad, in my opinion. In fact, I could mess them up pretty, like, I, I could mess them up pretty hard if I end up leading off with Incineroar. And I think Tapu Fini is good, but I don't want to, I don't want to have to, like, lead off with that and commit to it, you know? Because if they end up leading off with the Venusaur, then I can't switch in Gigalith or anything. Um, hmm. We'll do this. Uh, I'll go Raikou. And then we'll bring Gigalith and Tapu Fini in the back. And the reason I'm leading off this way is because it gives me fake out pressure. And if they want to go for any like sun speed boosted stuff, I can actually switch in my Gigalith and get rid of their sun. So that way my sand goes up and they lose their chlorophyll boost. And sorry if I sound like I'm shivering because I am. I don't know why my room's absolutely freezing right now. All right, Lapras Dusclops. Honestly, not a bad lead for me. I can set up a light screen pretty well. And I might even be able to parting shot on this Lapras, depending on how much speed it's running. Because I believe Incineroar and Lapras are a speed tie, right? Yeah, Incineroar's got base 60. I believe Lapras does as well. Let me double check. It might be 65. Yeah, base 60 as well. So I don't know how much speed they're running. Probably a faster Lapras if they're running, if they're running it with Whimsicott. I can go for a light screen and guarantee that I live. So I'll go ahead and I'll go for the parting shot, regardless. And if they give me the, um... If they give me the parting shot on the Lapras, and even the Trick Room... If they go for Trick Room, that'd actually be phenomenal, because then Dusclops... Or not Dusclops, because then uh, Gigalith just comes in and wins. Okay, this is a very specially defensive Incineroar as well. How much special defense do I have on this guy? Yeah, I'm running 140 special defense careful. So that's a lot. <laughs> they go for the ally switch. I... Oh, lower ladder. Lower ladder, guys. It's a fun place to play. It is a fun place to play where cool people play the game. As I am faster, that's hilarious. Uh, let me get in my Tapu Fini here. 
since they did not give me Trick Room. Low ladder is where good people play the game and good people use ally switch. <laughs> boy oh boy do I love it here. <laughs> turn one, turn one, I told you guys. They go for the resonance, probably into Raikou. That looks like life orb damage. No, they're not life orb. Okay. Their weakness policy, which is going to be pretty easy to play around. Um, what I'll do here is they're probably water absorb and not crit. They could be crit, actually. I can pretty safely go for a Moonblast. And... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to get in my Incineroar again. Because they're not going to go for a move into the Incineroar unless it's like Thunder. I kind of want to hard switch out as well, but it's not worth risking. I'll just get my Reflect off for late game. There's no way that my... There's no way that my Raikou goes down here. I need to put on a hat. It is so cold in my room right now. As someone just followed me as I was playing on cartridge. Let me go ahead and close... <laughs> let me close alert box. There we go. Get my Reflect off. They max lightning. Awesome. Incineroar should take very little from that. Wow, that actually did more than I thought. Yeah, that's that explains it. <laughs> that explains it. As they probably set up Trick Room for me. No, they will wisp And they forgot that I... Oh, I guess that makes sense, to be honest. Uh, let me go for the parting shot. Onto the Dusclops this time. I'm going to predict the ally switch. Here's the thing, guys. I, I, I will always say the ally switch is a move used by bad players to compensate being bad. I will always say that, and that's just because it's the truth, and people don't want to hear the truth. Let me get in Tapu Fini as well. Because what it does is it makes it so... It's, it's like up in the air what's going to happen. It is a risk. Every time you click it, and every time you don't click it. <laughs> so hopefully I called it right this time. Yep, there it is. Because here's the thing, if they didn't ally switch there, guess what would have happened? Same thing. <laughs> or not the same thing, but um, same thing as the first turn. They should be going for a water move now. I could get in Raikou. I don't want to get in Gigalith yet. I want to waste their last turn of Dynamax so they can't reset my Misty Terrain. So the Max Geyser, I should take that. Alright. As their Dynamax ends, and now I have Misty Terrain, and I can get in Gigalith. So I'll get in the Gigalith here. And I will also go for a... I mean, I don't lose much by going for Muddy Water right now. I can also scout for the ability, because I was going to Moonblast into Dusclops, but I would like to know if I can click Muddy Water in the face of this Lapras, because it's not taking any damage anyways. I can just check. Because it might be Water Absorbed, but I'm hoping it's not. I wonder if they're Brick Break. There's the Protect. Tell me you Trick Roomed. Please tell me you Trick Roomed. <laughs> Also, unfortunately, we don't get to see the uh, the ability. They will a wisp, forgetting that I have Misty Terrain. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Now I should just get my weakness policy here. Um, how many turns of Misty Terrain are left? Three turns. Okay. What I want to do here is I want to focus on taking out that Dusclops. A couple of Rock Falls should do it. But I might even go for like a Steel Spike. 
Even a Quake wouldn't be bad. I'm going to go for a Rockfall for the initial move. And I'm actually going to switch in... Uh, there's no real reason to switch out yet. Uh, we'll also just go for the Moonblast into the Dusclops. As I Dynamax, I'm just going to get my Weakness Policy this turn. At least I hope so. Unless they crit me, uh, they shouldn't be doing too much damage. And I am... Look, I am running like four speed EVs or speed IVs, so that way I can not speed Dusclops. There's the Moonblast. And a weakness policy boosted max rockfall should pretty much seal it for this guy. As they go for the Thunderbolt, interesting play. They're not doing anything. They go for the Will-O-Wisp. Bro, I'm sorry, can you not read? <laughs> This is what I mean. Only someone, only someone running ally switch would continuously click Will-O-Wisp despite there being Misty Terrain. Change my mind. Change my mind. You can't. You cannot. Alright. Uh, so the fact that they're running... The fact that they're running um, ally switch and Will-O-Wisp tells me they likely don't have pain split. So I'll once again double into the Dusclops. And I shouldn't lose my Tapu Fini here in any situation. So it also gives me an opportunity to... Uh, it also gives me an opportunity to keep it around in case they end up having some other kind of status in the back. As the crit does not knock it out, which is actually phenomenal, because I didn't want to give them weakness policy. In case they somehow lived, you know. Get my Citrus Berry here. This will probably only be a two battle video, looking at how long this one's taken. I kind of wish I went for the Quake. Because the Quake would have been really good. Get my max rock fall off. And it's at this point I definitely need to switch out my Tapu Fini. Because Missy Terrain ends next turn, and I can reset that in the face of a possible Sleep Powder from a Venusaur. There's Incineroar, okay. Now, Incineroar is probably just going to Parting Shot, which I'm okay with, because I'll get a Rock Fall and whatever comes in. I could even Quake for Special Defense. I'll just Quake. Because I don't think they have any Flying types, right? They don't. I'll just go for that, and also get in my Incineroar. I want to keep Raikou alive and healthy just in case it comes down to an endgame where I have to KO the Lapras with the Raikou. Like if my Gigalith ends up going down to a crit or something. So they go for Fake Out. Did they finally go for... No, they're still clicking Thunderbolt. Awesome. And the sand's actually going to help me out quite a bit. Because it'll help me get into range of my Figgy Berry a lot easier. Get a special defense raise there. Kind of wish I was running like Bulldoze Raikou to activate my weakness policy, but unfortunately, uh, the Bulldoze is on the Dust Pops. My Rock Slide does look pretty nasty now, though, because I can Parting Shot into the Lapras to negate any special attack boost I get it. Because what's Lapras at? It's at minus one special attack, minus, like, infinity attack. <laughs> so what I'll do here is I'll go for a Rock Slide, and I still have screens up, right? Yeah, I still have one turn of Light Screen, so I can actually Parting Shot into the Lapras and get in my Raikou to reset my screens. Okay, 
I don't see any situation where Raikou actually goes down here. So I can reset the light screen and probably be fine to win. Close combat. I mean, I'll take it. Give me my weakness policy. Let me KO both of you guys. Imagine. Imagine being the guy running close combat in Cinerar. That's always a meme. Close combat in Cinerar with like an assault vest on low ladder. I think that's that's like a common meme. And there's the Thunderbolt. Bro, if this rock slide connects, they might just disconnect. Oh, that's just hilarious. That's just hilarious. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to 4-0 an ally switch user. That's honestly how it be. That is this that is how it is. That is how it is. Sandstorm's gone. Do I even care though? I have all of my Pokemon in a light screen that I can set up again. There's the Torkoal. Okay. I mean, I underspeed the Torkoal. But I can just go for a rock slide and also set up a light screen, so. Light screen. I think with the light screen up and the special defense boost, I would have lived a solar beam. So yeah, <laughs> not that it matters. All right, good game, Shinji, uh, with your ally switch shenanigans. Thank you. <laughs> Hashtag Lily Cole no skill. Long live Spain. <laughs> Oh, I love the, uh, or not Lily Cole. I'm, I'm thinking 2017. Hashtag Vanu Cole, no skill, long live Spain. That's part of the copy blasto. It's so funny. All right. Let me take a look at this. Oh, honestly, in the part that just, the part that just ties it up in a neat little bow is that he's using Johnny Canal Mons. That one, that one, um, YouTube and Twitch account that just trades out Mons for a price. So not only... Not only did my guy run ally switch in Great Ball tier, but he paid for these Pokemon. So that's that's funny. Okay. Let's continue battling. I don't by the way, I don't actually like hate that guy. Why why would I get like mad? It's just funny though. It's funny to like come out on top against Ally Switch. Cause like what what's gonna happen to someone who'd be like, hey, leave the Ally Switch player alone? <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny. All right. Um, this is beat up Whimsicott. I don't have any redirection. However, they don't have a way of stopping my Trick Room if I lead off Incineroar plus Giggle or Incineroar plus Dusclops. The only way they can completely stop the Trick Room is if they ended up leading off with um, Urshifu, like Choice Band Urshifu at that. Uh, Choice Band Urshifu plus Whimsicott or Rillaboom plus Whimsicott and they fake out my Incineroar and taunt my Dusclops. So hopefully they don't do that. I'll bring Gigalith here, and I have a couple of options. I think uh, Tapu Fini is probably the strongest of all of them. It helps me out stopping uh, Grassy Glide under Trick Room. And it helps me beat the both the uh, Heatran and the Urshifu. And if you guys are watching up to this point, uh, go ahead and comment down below Unga Bunga Ally Switch. <laughs> if you're watching at this point, let's, let's just comment Unga Bunga Ally Switch and see how many we can get of those. Because that, that honestly is how it feels when you play against it. Alright. Let's see what they let off with. Hopefully it's not one of the two leads that absolutely stops the trick room. Oh, by the way, guys, if you don't know, I go live tonight at 5 p.m., so watch me. Oh, it is the lead that absolutely stops the Trick Room. Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, not really. They have to be Choice Band to one shot. What's the likelihood they're actually Choice Banded? Someone, someone tell me the likelihood of them actually being Choice Banded. Oh, God. <laughs> they're actually Choice Banded. No, let me go for the fake out on you then and hope you're not running taunt because there's a decent chance you're not. Please don't have taunt. 
actually, let me Will O Wisp. No, because I, I get more out of Trick Room. All right, let me make sure I didn't misclick that turn. Fake out. Trick Room. Thank you, Dusclops. You're literally the best Pokemon in the game. Oh, no. Wait, actually, hold on. This might be fine, depending on if they went for Taunt. Since they just Dynamax their Urshifu, I think I live the hit since they don't get the crit. And also, because what is it? It's 140 base power, which is slightly stronger, but they don't get the choice band boost. Do I live this? I don't think so. Maybe. Oh, no, I don't. I don't, I don't live this. <laughs> I don't live this. All right. I am sorry. I am sorry, uh, Dustclops. There's the max darkness. <laughs> Not even G-Max. Imagine. Wait! <laughs> Imagine! Couldn't be me. It literally could not be me. What just happened to this guy could not have happened to me. How did you not KO me? It was helping hand boosted Max... Oh, wait. You know what? I think Max Darkness might be weaker than G-Max 1 Blow. Alright, I'm a... I'm gonna just have to parting shot into you. And also go for the Will-O-Wisp. Oh yeah, he's also at minus one. Yeah, that's why. I'm sorry. I completely forgot that you didn't get crits. Oh. Oh. It is over. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been on a big time rush kick lately. Will-O-Wisp you. And we'll also parting shot you, so I'm probably going to hold on to my boy. God, imagine. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the likelihood he went for a max knuckle? Pretty low. Let me get in my Gigalith. I think I would actually prefer the max knuckle play, to be completely honest. Because that means I can one-shot this uh, Rillaboom. <gasps> <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, oh no, sir. I am sorry. I am sorry, sir. You guys want to see something real funny? Because he's guaranteed to grassy glide here, right? I think what happened is... He, just like I, forgot about the uh, the fact that he was Intimidated turn 1, so there was no way he was going to one-shot. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's Annihilate this Rillaboom. And we'll get in the Tapu Fini to stop the Grassy Glide. I assume they would Grassy Glide here. It makes the most sense. Get up the terrain so that way Grassy Glide isn't priority now. Dynamax the or she or Dynamax the uh, Gigalith, <laughs> so the Max Knuckle does even less this turn. All right, and I think plus two Max Rockfall will likely one shot this. Uh, <laughs> it'll likely one shot this Rillaboom. Ooh, okay. A skilled play. A skillful protect. Uh, luckily, though, I'm still in a position where I get two KOs next turn. Yeah, I still always get two KOs next turn. In fact, I might, in, I might even be able to go for a Steel Spike and KO the Urlaboom. I think I could even go for, like, a Steel Spike to KO. Which is just great. I think here they'd probably max guard. There's no reason to... Oh, wait, no, they can't. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's within range of Steel Spike. So we'll Steel Spike the uh, Rillaboom. And we will go for a Moonblast into this thing. I think they might forfeit here, to be honest. I don't see how they play out of this. Considering everything drops on Switch in. Or these two Pokemon drop, and I still have a turn of Dynamax and Trick Room. Alright. 
They're thinking. I do not need to think at this point. I have gone completely stupid brain mode, and I'm going to start KOing things that are in front of me. There, There is a point in, in competitive Pokemon. It's sort of like the Avatar state, you know, from Avatar. Uh, but instead of, you know, being omniscient and making really good reads, you just KO things in front of you, and you're good. Here's the Steel Spike. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the defense boost and the KO on the Whimsicott, since Sand will do the job here. Get a nice little defense boost there. And a Moonblast to finish off the Urshifu. Nice. Wimscott goes down. I still got two KOs that turn. <laughs> What's in the back? Who knows, maybe they have a Pokemon that just absolutely destroys me that I completely forgot about. No, it's Heatran, we're good. So, um, if I were my opponent here, I would still just go for the Grassy Glide. I'll max Rockfall. And I'll get in the Incineroar. And that should minimize the damage I take from Grassy Glide. Since I am at plus one defense, and he's now at minus one attack, this should be fine. And I now have Fake Out Pressure. As they protect the Heatran, let's see if they do, if they do it with the Rillaboom. They do not, they go for the Grassy Glide. It does very little damage, and I'm going to KO this thing. And that Heatran is definitely within range of plus two Stomping Tantrum. You know, I meant like if they have a Shooka Berry. Because any Stomping Tantrum would knock this thing out. <laughs> Except for Amoongus. I, I think, I don't think I've ever seen an Amoongus knock out a Heatran with Stomping Tantrum. Anyways, they can't protect here, so the obvious play is just fake out Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum, Fake Out. And that is our second 4-0 today, unless I'm dumb and we didn't 4-0 the first opponent. But yeah, a very clean session today in uh, in Great Ball Tier. Hopefully we can get up to Master Ball Tier real soon. Uh, hopefully we don't run into too much cheese. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you uh, for subscribing to the channel. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. And at 20,000 subscribers, I am doing a Reggie Drago cosplay. And that is, that is a meme, but I am I am actually going to do it. So any support is appreciated. Uh, if you haven't liked the video, leave a like on it. I'd really appreciate that as well. Let's shoot for 200 today. And with that, I'm going to call, guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.